Hello and welcome. In this video, I will transform this antique carpenter's chest into a more updated, stylish piece. We purchased this trunk over 30 years ago from an antique shop and it's just a little bit too orangey and rustic for my current decor. So I invite you to follow along as I bring to it a refreshing new light. To begin this project, I remove both handles from each side of the trunk. I'm using citrus strip to remove the varnish. Sometimes these old time varnishes are difficult to remove, but this one does cut it even though it has mild fumes. It's not a real harsh chemical remover. It's even safe to use inside which yes I have used it many times inside so and it actually smells good it smells like oranges it is one that I prefer and would recommend okay, I went ahead and covered it in plastic and it sat all night so we're gonna peel that off and get to work I do recommend using plastic scrapers to avoid scratching the wood. So yes, it's definitely going to need a second coat, but like I said, it doesn't surprise me. Well, here I go again. But this time, I'm going to only let it sit for about an hour and then come back with steel wool to remove it. Okay, while applying this second coat, I noticed throughout the trunk here that we have some little red markings that are filling a lot of the holes. It must be an old time wood filler. So I'm going to have to do a little extra work on those just to get rid of them. Okay, it did start sprinkling a little bit and got this a little bit wet but that actually will work to my advantage because we're getting ready now it's been about an hour so I am ready to scrub it down with the steel wool Yeah, having a little bit of tough time removing this wood putty or whatever it is here, but uh, I'll just keep working at it. For the next step, I'm going to go ahead and bleach it all down. You want to be sure you wear a mask during this process and what I'll do is leave the bleach on the wood and let it sit here in the sun for a little bit. Well, it's been sitting out here in the sun for about two hours now. Uh, there's a couple spots that still are a little bit damp, so I'll leave that to dry up. And um, these little white patches here, I'll be having to touch those up when I do the whitewash. But first, we've got to sand it all down.
Now I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it down with a clean gray. Okay, I got a little bit of issue here on the lid. Um, it's coming apart right down in here. See that? It's separated. So what I'm going to have to do is glue that and put a couple clamps on it. Okay, this is sad about four hours I let it out here, so let's go ahead and remove the plants here. I'm going to make up my paint wash using folk art linen. I mix it 50-50, 50% water, 50% paint. I'm doing a little test patch here on a piece of scrap wood just to be sure that it's to my liking. Here on the top we have grains going a couple different directions so you want to make sure that you're always going with the grain. I'm carefully going to the edge of this just so that it doesn't run into the other side and this piece is a little bit darker so I may end up giving this section, just this one alone, two coats just to even it out. To seal this piece, I'm using the Folk Art Home Decor Wax. It's a transparent wax. What you do is you apply it, allow it to dry, and then you buff it to the sheen that you desire. A little tip here, you always want to apply your wax with the grain of the wood. Okay, I knew it wouldn't last too long, but I did take full advantage of the nice weather that the Lord blessed us with. But this is the typical Northeast Ohio weather, so into the house we go. 
I'm going to be adding wallpaper to this trunk and I got this at a great price. It was discontinued last roll so I'm happy about that. I love the pattern and the color. The color is a very soft peachy pink with a cream embossing on top. However, the color will not work for this project so I'll show you a little painting technique that's going to make it work. You want to make sure that your pattern design is centered on the piece. I'm cutting my edges here so that the paper wraps around the edges so that when I lay it on here I know exactly where it goes. Okay, this process here is called booking. It's where you lay the wallpaper back to back, back side to back side, to allow the glue to activate. So after about 10 minutes, I'm ready to apply. When you come to the end, you want to overlap your wallpaper. And then tuck that underneath your top layer. Come a little further from the edge. You don't want to do it right on the corner, but lay something flat and then cut through both pieces of paper. around and trim all your edges and wipe off any excess glue. I'm using the Folk Art Multi-Surface Linen. It's the same paint that I used on the trunk. You want to first get the paint on and then because it's a texture you're going to want to do little swirls to kind of make sure that gets down into all the grooves there. Once your wallpaper is completely dry, I allowed mine to dry overnight. I'm doing what's called a dry brush technique. I'm using white paint and what you want to do is get most of the paint off of your brush and you're going to skim just the top of the surface. Back and forth you want to do two different directions. You want to go left to right or back and forth and then again over it up and down. I'm just going back and touching up those little patch spaces just to make them blend in a little bit better. So my trunk was missing its keyhole cover so I ended up ordering one online. I had my husband paint it a flat black and then to age it, give it a distressed look, I added a white paint and then rubbed that off. I'm using a little push pin here just to set my hole for my nails. Mm -hmm. 
I purchased four of these wood finials from our local Home Depot and attached them to the bottom of the trunk. I do want to add that they're really not intended for feet or legs for furniture, so I wouldn't add them to anything too heavy. That's it for today. Hope you enjoy. Also hope it inspired you to get busy on one of your projects. And remember, you're blessed to be a blessing, so go bless someone today. <laughs>